This Pausing conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, thank you. Let me check it once again. Uh, just for a second. Let me see another slide. All right. Now, there's a slight difference between the windmills and wind turbines. Hope you understand about the, the mechanism of the windmills and the wind turbines. Wind turbine is a machine of converting the kinetic energy, as I, I, was, uh, as I was telling about earlier, um, uh, converting the mechanical energy into uh, wind into mechanical energy uh no it was this this uh let me uh, talk on this first uh, the mechanical energy which was converting into some source uh, we uh, early days we use for the grinding machines or making flour or grinding stones as well as we used to use the uh, water pumping machines the, this is a picture where you can see here yeah, this is a picture which you can see this uh uh, this is a picture which is uh, used as a mechanical energy directly and the turbine is here which we see here is a converting mechanical energy into electric electrical energy by the drag of the wind so this is little difference between the uh, windmills and wind turbines which and we have we have a different kind of wind turbines classified into two more majorly. That is one is horizontal axis wind turbine and vertical axis wind turbine. So generally horizontal axis wind turbine for the rooftop models, uh, the rooftop models generally we we can go for any kind of roof which can be suitable for you from 500 watts. Or one kilowatt or 1.5 kilowatt till two kilowatt uh, why we cannot go more than uh, above uh, three kilowatt or five kilowatt the blade size the blade size of a three kilowatt machine will give you around uh, four meter dia if the structure is good i think we can go for a three kilowatt machine or five kilowatt machine uh, but whereas the drag in India, we don't have the uh, wind speeds, the domestic area above five to six meters per second. So generally, we have the, the highest wind is five. That is the gush winds. The average wind is four or three meters per second. So we don't have much drag on those uh, uh, three kilowatt machine. Whereas for India, we we can go for a 500 watts too uh around 2.5 kilowatt with a blade size of one meter or 1.5 meter of blade size or the three meter dia of the blade for the any kind of horizontal axis wind turbine the same way the vertical axis wind turbine the vertical axis wind turbine we have uh, in india we can use or in other another countries the, the wind speeds are above uh, five meters per second so five meters per second, any kind of wind turbine from 500 watts uh, to five kilowatts, it is feasible to run on your uh, rooftops. So let me see how uh, the horizontal machines work, how it is being, how can we install it. So I will be briefly explaining you about the uh, uh, horizontal axis wind turbine and vertical axis wind turbine in my next slide. All right. So basically, if you see the left side to my hand, it's a uh, approximately 1.5 megawatt of uh, wind turbine, which is which which it is producing some uh, 1. 1.5 megawatt or one megawatt of uh, an an machine. This is or it may be a Suzlon also. So this is the turbine where it has been installed at uh, our Tamil Nadu, Tinnan Valley, or uh, Paldam areas. 
So uh, this is the machine which generates say, above one, one megawatt. The other slide which is there, it is a water pumping machine which has been installed in the Saudi Arab, a place called as Jiddah, uh, and somewhere in the near to the desert. So let me let me show how it works. This uh, over, uh, water pumping machine. Kindly sit back and enjoy the slide and the AV, uh, the pumping machine, how it has been mechanically used in this desert part. This is up to some about uh, uh, 50, 50 feet height above. The tower is a lattice tower, which is which has been done by us in Saudi Arabia for a water pumping and uh, the depth is near about 800 to 850 feet down so the wind speed is around six to seven meters per second uh, which can you see you can see this machine mechanically pumping the water and uh, the dia is around uh, Five, five meters dia, yes, five meters dia it is. Not a big machine, but it's very small machine only, which we are able to pump the water in the desert area. It has a, a manual brakes. Uh, if it is a, a cyclonic wind or the wind speeds are above uh, 20 meters per second or 30 meters, it can withstand up to uh, to 25 meters per second it can stack which send the wind speed later you have to go for a manual braking it is not done any automation uh, it is done only the mechanical brake you can see the edge of this this is the uh, uh, mechanical brake where it has been used to stop these machines the person is coming now uh, he's going to stop the machine Let's see to that. That's that's that. That's the thing we are trying to stop the machine. Can you see that? That's a break. That's it on now. It's again started pumping it. It's a fantastic machine. It's a, it's, it's a cutting speed is very good. It cuts around uh, somewhat around 2.2 meters or 2.5 meters. It's a cutting, cutting. It's very good machine. It gives uh, at least uh, the yield. If the water yield is good, it is it runs for uh, 18 to 19 hours. The wind speeds are there for at least for 19 to 18 hours. Somewhere between uh, four to five in the mornings, the wind is too good, and the evenings and the nights are very fantastic when we get it. Uh, the and uh, this is a different machine. Now, this machine is similar to the earlier machine which I have already showed you as a uh, mechanical but this is not the mechanical machine which is pumping it is pumping uh, around the 7 hp of water but this machine is used with the pmsg generator it has a generator a low rpm generator on top of it it is connected to 7 hp pump it gives the a voltage of uh, 700 to 800 volt three phase pm pmsg permanent magnet synchronized generator and from ac it is uh, converted into single phase dc and it has been connected to variable frequency drive bfd variable from variable frequency drive it is connected to the pump of 7 hp let me play again. It is uh, connected to 7 HP and it pumps the water by using an electricity. All right, guys.
So the earlier machine was a mechanical. Now this is done with the electrical, and it has a small gearbox converted into one is to six. And this is this is really running fantastic at uh, Karnataka, a location called as uh, Chik Mangalore or Chik Chikjajur. It is called as Chikjajur. It is running fantastic from past uh, four years. Here and there, they have some uh, wear and tear with the blades when it is a cyclonic winds. Uh, but uh, uh, this man, this person is uh, himself rectified the machine and he does very fantastically. And this is a uh, way we supplied this machine uh, two three years back. All right. Oh, uh, let me come to the uh, machines, uh, the dynasty and classification. I have just classified these machines into two. There are various kinds of uh, machines in India and all parts of the world. But generally, I have done the comparison only with the vertical and horizontals. These are the main two, and as mother and father of these machines. You can see on the left side uh, a vertical machine, vertical axis of drawing, and you can also see uh, the, the earlier machine as we call as this design as a horizontal axis winter drawing. And however, we have a number of designs in the verticals, you know, depends upon the various uh, various locations and various wind speeds. The designs of each country changes. Uh, there are there are few advantages and disadvantages with both the systems, uh, subject to the location and subject to the wind speeds. So uh, I'll be uh, explaining you briefly uh, small notes, maybe which is use, very useful for the people who want to go for a uh, designs uh, design say you know vertical or horizontal so let me see what the best i can uh, give my presentation uh, in the upcoming slides it's a vertical here and um, there's a horizontal one to my uh, to my right side well this is a, a another kind of model uh, which uh, I have been uh, trying to do this machine, but it was not giving me good sound enough. And the wind speeds, it was having a very good wind speeds if it is connected over the uh, coastal areas. This machine runs very good in the coastal areas. Uh, uh, all right, this is on the top or on my left. It's a green kind of machine. It is also in a Cervonius type in a vertical. Uh, there is an Indian flag type color as a orange, white, a green. Another machine which is we done, we have developed here in Chennai. And the bottom, there is one more machine with the uh, vertical uh, which has been developed and uh, installed at uh, Mahabalipuram for a TBS program. And uh, another machine which has been done by another friend called Mr. Srinivas, and this, he was the person who designed it's a dual axis machine which runs clockwise and anti clockwise at the bottom and to the right. So, this machine, this, uh, the green one machine, which is on the left, the top, and I have that video also, I'll be showing that. This machine which, was, which, which we've been tested and our apartments from the balcony winds uh, with the generator whether it starts with the, what kind of wind speeds so these are the very good designs uh, which uh, people can design uh, with the uh, frp blades and uh, you know, for the 500 watts so that would be a good enough to take the drag and you know if you join the multiple machines of 500 500 multiples on your rooftop or the balconies or uh, convo, uh, connecting with a solar panel, making it a hybrid, and uh, uh, as a storage, you can go for 
because India, in India, we don't have the grid availability for wind turbines. So oh, most of the Indian guys knows about it. And uh, you know, quite good, these machines. I, I am very much fascinated with these machines. Generally, I love this uh, top, both the models. Uh, the bottom model uh, fantastically runs in uh, wind speeds. Uh, it's a wind speed again. It's three meters per second. It's a five kilowatt machine. The other one to my to my right hand side bottom. It's again it's a five kilowatt machine. We have two models. Uh, this is a three and five. Basically, um, dual axis machines are a little difficult for the cutting speed. They need uh, at least a drag of three meters per second. And the generation will start from 3.5 to it may goes to 9 meters per second. It's a fantastic machine, a dual axis machine. In other slides, I will be showing how it runs. And uh, to my left, uh, to my left, that is a one more 5 kilowatt machine which is installed at uh, Mahavalipuram. It runs also fantastically. All right. That's, um, as, uh, two models of verticals, same designs, uh, which you can see this uh, red and white machine as a very fantastic machine, <coughs> which is also been installed at uh, near to Coimbatore and Chennai, I mean, near to Coimbatore and Tamil Nadu. I'm sorry. So let me see how, uh, let me show how it works and how it runs. It runs with a, a good drag and its RPM is a fantastic RPM. I would like to show you once again a very short uh, clip I made it. It's a very big clip. I was not able to uh, insert in my PPT any big size files for the videos, especially it was taking me a lot of bytes. This is a fantastic machine of uh, you know, around eight eight kilowatt uh, machine uh, which is installed on the rooftop of a fourth floor uh, of fourth floor. And uh, this gives us a. Uh, 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 oh, I just wait. Let's install this. Uh, let me talk on this. The blade size is uh, uh, two point five meter each. Each each blade size, and the gender uh, generator itself is a axle flex generator and uh, BM, BMSG magnet magnet synchronized generator. And um, this gives us around face-to-face, um, -face, somewhat around uh, uh, 300 and uh, sometimes 240, 280 face-to-face. -face. Almost we get a 500 uh, uh, volt uh, DC when we, uh, when we convert the three-phase uh, uh, AC to single-phase DC to pump inside the grid time inverter. or to pump inside the batteries so it depends upon the uh, 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 various uh, go for them giving you uh, eight batteries 96 volts uh, four, uh, four batteries as a 48 VDC by a charge controller it can be connected to your battery bank and I can go for a operate unit if you want to connect directly to the grid unit with three phase grid inverter you can connect and you can pump inside the grid Whereas we cannot uh, give it in the grid, uh, you know, we don't have net metering. But of course, uh, sometimes in India also, maybe we are trying to get it very faster. Uh, we will be shortly getting it in this year or by next year. Hope this year may not be possible because of this COVID. And uh, uh, we may uh, we may go next next year. Maybe we go for an online or net metering facilities in India. The other side of the machine is you know. As another uh, three kilowatt machine, uh, which was, uh, 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 yeah, OK. 
Can you see this? That's a very low wind speed. And uh, this RPM is very low. And uh, if the wind speeds are not good, you know, average wind speeds for this vertical generally need uh, uh, minimum wind speeds for this, this kind of machines. Uh, three meters average wind speed to know to get the cutting uh, cutting for this uh, to, to get a track and start the machine so once the wind speed is picked up to five to six meters this machine sounds very perfectly and the rated power maybe the efficiency would be the not the hundred percent but 80 85 percent uh, we are trying to reach i'm sorry we're trying to do a lot of optimization for these machines uh, we are trying we have a good team to do this work behind this after sales uh, we, we generally take a lot of readings bi-monthly or uh, three months once we try to go to the sites wherever the machines is installed we keep monitoring these machines once it has been installed you know, to get more optimization or to improvisation you know. we are trying to do the best for uh, however we do here the wind speeds are very low the domestic areas as for the wind prone areas like Gujarat and uh, uh, Tamil Nadu uh, Tamil Nadu most of the coastal line the coastal line from the Kanyakumari to if you go to Bay of Bengal the, the stretch is good very fantastic wind speeds Our average wind speeds we are getting at five meters and highest wind speed sometimes nine meters per second so these are the uh, this coastal line of India is very good other part of the coastal line a uh, few parts of Kerala is good. Other parts of, uh, apart from Kerala, if you go to Goa, Goa is very silent beach and the beach beats are very uh, no, no, less than three meters sometimes. The highest wind speed they get four to five meters, but a uh, lot of rainy season. The wind is also calm in this area. Once you go to little Mumbai side, the winds are little picked up. Of course, if you go to Gujarat, Gujarat sector is fantastic. It's, it's a masterpiece for the any kind of uh, wind turbine can run there. Uh, this, this 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 parts of uh, Gujarat, you know, like Kutch and these places are fantastic. And most of the wind turbines can run this. And domestic area, however, in any kind of cities, if you go to high-rise buildings, these machines may uh, uh, take a good advantage of drag, which is coming around about 40 to 60 feet above from the sea level or from the ground level also high rise buildings these machines will run fantastically mm. yeah so i was talking about uh, you know uh, uh, dual access machine generally people will not understand how what what is uh, how dual access machine generally i'm talking on it so let me share a video uh, machine which is done by one of my close friend you know? His name is Christine Watson. Uh, just see this machine carefully. One blade runs clockwise. Oh, let me let me take back. Let me take back again. Just see the blades once again. The top blades runs clockwise, uh, and the bottom blades runs anti-clockwise. It's a unique design. We designed it here in India. Uh, people from uh, other countries might be fascinated with this machine. It's a very low RPM uh, generator. Again, it is a axle flex uh, PMSG permanent magnet generator. It's a reading which we give uh, from the wind turbine and as well as from the solar. This is a hybrid uh, machine. We have a mono and poly hybrid as well as the wind turbine together. I'll just show you once again, people who, who might have missed it. I just want all the guys to watch this machine. One of the unique models we developed here in India. The right side one, the right side one is the wind. 
both other things are both solar. Yes, this is this, this is what I'm talking about. It's a dual access machine. Uh, of again, it is a three kilowatt of wind turbine, and the total is six kilowatt of solar is given. So around 10 kilowatt of battery bank uh, able to supply and uh, VDC. What we are getting is around uh, 500 volts. So this can be converted with a charge controller to get the battery bank for 96 VDC and to go to 62 40 amps. Sometimes the wind speeds are good, then it, it takes around 40 amps, or else it is 30 35 amps. Then. So this machine had to go for an, another test of optimization. And at this uh, high wind speed, it is it is able to withstand with the high wind speed, but not more than again 18 meters per second. I don't think so. These blades are suitable for uh, uh, high wind speeds area like um, the area of Wales or uh, UK, mostly European countries. For the domestic usage, it is fantastic. You can mount it on the ground, uh, the rooftop also. Okay, but uh, it's a little bit of wobblings are available in this machine after uh, about two years or three years. So there will be a little maintenance because it's a dual access machine, two uh, dual side bearings are there. So those bearings have to be replaced every three years. This could be a minimum maintenance, maintenance what we get it for a customer after three years. Uh, if it is again a coastal area, it is uh, three years. But in a non coastal area and uh, and corrosion is not there, they may take us at least to four, four and a half years. The bearing will not be good damage. Uh, in dual access, this is a, a bit problems which we have seen it from uh, uh, four years. Hope my audio is clear, sir. Yes, sir, it is clear, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, let me say, I've already uh, given a, a small notes. Hope you guys understand my English. My English is not so perfect, but I'm trying to speak on it. Uh, let me give you a little brief on uh, rooftops. Rooftops about um, horizontal machines. Uh, this horizontal machines, uh, one I'm showing you as a uh, a ground mounted machine one is on the rooftop uh i'm not having a lot of videos on it uh, if you go to my youtube links you find a lot of videos which we have been, which i have done it but subsequently let me uh, show this uh, particular video uh, i like this video i was there with this installation uh, this installation is again done in uh, uh, one part of tamil nadu uh, near arkukote and uh, this is a farmhouse which he was developing. Uh, he is one of my close friends, very known friend to me. Uh, this machine is about, the left side machine is a uh, 1.5 kilowatt. And he also installed one solar pump along with that. So he has a, a side by small lake which pumps the water from the lake and from the solar pump it goes to his fields. And this turbine, uh, power is a storage power, it's a hybrid upgrade unit, in other words. So, this is used for his uh, domestic lighting, for his uh, security, and other cattle, and other things. So, uh, let me show this how the installation or erection is done there, here, uh, in this part of a remote place. We've been erecting this uh, tower with a a small JCB here in India, we call it as a JCB or Brooklyn. So we erected, and this is a, one of the fantastic machine. You know, once it has been erected, it starts just like that. It's taken a start, and it, it's it, it, uh, it started rotating. And uh, that, 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 the time I know I was having a good smile. Once it's erected, it is uh, one of the most of the machines doesn't. Take the drag until unless the wind speeds are good. And once it's at the top, and it started rotating. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah. 
think that's the moment. That's the start. That's a fantastic start. It has taken a very more or less start. Very beautiful day started. So this kind of uh, election we generally do uh, uh, with a tractor or you know if you have we don't use any hydraulic because our customers are not um, so rich or you know all poor farmers you know so we just use the whatever the availability in the particular uh, remote areas or rural areas or the field areas. So this are uh, this type of you know in the ten seconds we do the erections and we complete in a day entire installation wiring connection to the inverters and batteries and all. And this guy used a lot of sensors uh, in and around uh, his fields. Uh, he used the dust to dawn sensors. He, he used um, again solar uh, fence electric shopping that's uh, he, he used a lot of uh, technologies he, he he is a person that he will he's not sit at he use whatever he wants whether it's said to anybody or not he will he's a person like you know he always uh, upgrade himself with the uh, uh, latest technology very fantastic guy his name is mr jaffa he works um, with a good transport and this guy is very good and kind-hearted guy very nice man to man and uh, let me come back to on my right on my right there's a rooftop machine uh, this machine uh, is again installed at uh, karnataka there's a place called as uh, gulbarga if anybody knows uh, people who are very near to karnataka or andhra pradesh or Telangana also, there's a high, there's a train route which goes to Bombay or from Calcutta, from uh, Bangalore also, as a small junction. This is the just beside the, uh, just beside the Gulbarga station. And if you cross the station, uh, from the station itself, you can see this machine. Uh, you can see this machine. As a rooftop machine, and he has also have one kilowatt of solar panel, which is on the rooftop. And uh, this is a hybrid system with the upgrade unit connecting with uh, four batteries. This is a 48 VDC uh, machine of uh, 1.5 kilowatt. And uh, solar also he has with uh, 24 VDC. Uh, with somewhat four panels, something like 250 watts each panel. So this machine is, uh, you can see from a uh, station of uh, Bilbarga. Uh, this machine also was uh, installed at uh, 2017 or 16, this machine. So it's still running fantastically without any horses. So it's all engine make machines. Uh, we we don't understand any change. Right now, I think we have a little ban on Chinese machines coming towards India. Okay. So this is one machine which uh, we call as horizontal and uh, i think i was clear with the verticals uh, because i am very much fascinated with the vertical because i have been both doing horizontal machine from long time so i spend a lot of time with the vertical machines because vertical machines you know if you see to the youtubes so youtubers and most of the youtubers uh, which they post in the youtube see Guys, I, I would like to tell you or I would like to share my uh, personal experience with this um, of turbines. Uh, when I've been burn my hands and my fingers with this machines a lot. Uh, generally, you see any kind of machine, any kind of machine uh, which is, uh, uh, which, uh, I mean, I'm talking about the verticals, especially on the verticals. Any kind of uh, 
a drag of 35 degrees angle aerodynamics angle uh, with the two blades or three blades even though you cut a, a bucket you cut a drum but generally it runs uh, with a shaft if you have a good bearing good bearing the top bearing and the middle bearing and the bottom bearings are very good you connect any kind of wood or a plastic bottle or a plastic bucket or plastic drum it generally runs most of the youtube channels most of the people are inspired with that so most of the youtubers they generally connect the drum or buckets and you know, anything is possible yeah any it, it runs until unless if you connect the generator if the generator is connected there uh, then the, 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 the problem starts as the generator is connected and then the torque is the torque starts and the torque starts uh, then what the rpm previously it was running with the with our generator the rpm was good with two meters or three meters per second whatever the showing you when you connect a generator it may take the a load or oh no, sorry not load it may take the torque or the torque is connected the rpm is reduced and simultaneously when you connect to the loop the torque is heavy i'm just giving you a very one language hope that you all understand generally if you try this guys you know as my personal experience this is not going to work you need a best design which work with a low rpm less charge generators you know that could be only the axial flex generator not not even the uh, radial flex generator radial flex generator is useless for the vertical turbine uh, vertical turbine it will not run but this uh, you have to use the axial flex generator that could be the best way to get the target use and low rpm that could be any wind turbine is the highest wind speed which could be 110 rpm and the nine meters per second that should be the best wind speeds and simon dennis is those kind of wind speeds we don't have in india so generally what we do we when we design a machine of a one kilowatt we have to go for a 1.5 kilowatt of generator or 2 kilowatt of generator subject to location subject to the height of the building subject to the wind speeds we have to see those uh, data of the reading we have to get get the reading physical reading and the uh, data which is available from the nasa or data which is available from manari or the data which is available from uh, national institute of wind energy this could the a few people where they have the data which is available of last year so we will see the what is the average wind speed in every month and how it is to run and how we have to work and which part of the time and which part of the month is the highest wind speed and how what is the highest wind speed has come so all this data we analyze it and then we go for a design or any kind of customer is asking our uk and other countries the average wind speeds are more than 6 meters per second so we don't have any problem for the other countries you know which have the good wind speed a good wind speed simultaneously lakshadweep and andaman uh, for india and we have a average wind speeds of uh, 7 meters per second so any kind of vertical especially any kind of designs and i wish it will work uh, i wish not uh, 100% will work so uh, verticals are you know you need a good wind speed you know when you don't have a good wind speed of uh, average of 5 meters of uh, average of 5 meters of wind speeds so that uh, more than 3 kilowatt you know you need a uh, average wind speeds of 5 meters per second especially for the verticals whereas if you go for a um, defined watts and it, it can work from 3 to 4 meters per second you can go for a uh, multiple uh, machines of uh, verticals for 500 watts to 1 kilowatt and generally this kind of wind speeds are available in the uh, domestic usage so uh, you can go multiple of 500 watts you know uh, 500 watts to 1 kilowatt is suitable for indian indian wind speeds as uh, vertical rooftops however you can go more than uh, 2 kilowatt when the wind speeds are above 5 meters per second okay that was uh, you know, vertical uh, machines which i was talking i was also clear with the horizontals and let me see what could be my next slide this was uh, 
insulation body I've seen it. Especially for this uh, machine, so you can install on the rooftop. If the rooftop is uh, around uh, 40 feet or 60 feet or 10 feet. Uh, rooftop height, you, know, you can go for a single pole uh, with uh, 6 inches or 4 inches or with thickness of uh, 4 mm to 5 mm. You can use also a square pipe, uh, two pipes for the stay wires. And you can also install the same thing, a tilting model for the rooftop, for the ground mounting also. Same, I do it. Uh, this designs, uh, you know, I have uh, done uh, after Varda, the cyclone, which was affected for the entire coastal area of Tamil Nadu and other parts of Bangladesh, uh, Odisha, and Calcutta also. Uh, after that, we have done this design where you know, we can bring the turbine down when, when we really require the cyclones. Because before the, all, all other designs were, you know, one time erection concrete seal and it's not going to come down we have to take the crane and go talk for the service and all we used to do it now we stopped doing that uh, we are going to give uh, 15 feet height of one single pole tower or again uh, 18 feet one single pole tower if the, if the roof is having the uh, space to twill down we can go for, for such much uh, height of 20 feet if the roof is not allowed us to Build the turbine down, the length is not sufficient, then we will definitely go for 12 feet, 12 feet and uh, a 2 feet of base, the concrete base for the printing the machine. This is also tied with the stay wires and have the foundation bolts with the tightness and uh, the same thing the rooftop is done. You can see on the rooftop also, wire wire is given and the stay wire in other words, so that uh, it doesn't give any vibrations and sound to the building or the building to get cracks and so this could be a very suitable machine so uh, from 500 watts to 2 kilowatt uh, the blade size would be uh, again 1 meter 1.5 meter uh, you can go ahead with this machine uh, generally again 3 kilowatt the blade size the 3 and 3, three kilowatt and the 5 kilowatt uh, uh, blades are 2 meters uh, 2.2 2.3 uh, subject to the various uh, Machine developers, uh, various wind speeds, uh, whether Chinese or Indian or other European countries, they design different kind of profile, uh, depends upon the profile of the blades. Uh, it's been designed. Uh, this designs, you know, my designs with the profile. Uh, I, I don't make my machine to run, though it's a high wind speed. Uh, high wind speeds, and uh, if it is uh, 8 meters to 9 meters per second, uh, the machine will go for a uh, RPM more, not more than 450 RPM. It go for a stall moment. Uh, stall moment is nothing but you know at certain RPM it will not work more than that. It's a stall moment. That's a 400, 420 would be the highest RPM. And Simon tell is the, the ampere if it is a one kilowatt machine, you know, it may generate uh, 59 watts in that range speech because the machine uh, designed in such a way and uh, Piling is designed and the poles are in such a way. It is designed for a low wind speed. When it goes for a high uh, wind speed and it uh, started running apart from the 300 RPM, 100 RPM is increased. So suddenly the ampere and the voltage increase and the battery gets charged uh, within a, within a one two hours itself. So that could be a uh, it could be a fast charging for the batteries if you are using them. Uh, any kind of charge controllers, whether you use the PMA or any kind of uh, charge controllers, that would be a fine subject to your designs, which we are uh, the rectifiers able to uh, give you good amperage and able to sustain with the high voltage also. That's a rooftop. Uh, this is one of the greatest designs of the world. Uh, 
all over the world, uh, Savanias wind turbines. These are with uh, six blades, sometimes two blades, sometimes three blades, or multiple blades, but they uh, some have six blades. Uh, generally, I design the bottom left hand side. That's the machine which I designed here in India, Chennai. So, you might have seen in previous uh, videos, I was showing about the vertical, uh, vertical design. Let me go back to the, yeah, the top on this, and this is uh, the same design which we developed in Chennai. Uh, the, the orange, white, and the green was for the uh, DRD projects and Indian Army for the other. The project is yet to be completed now. So far, it's not done. So these are the machine which we uh, developed uh, in Chennai. So same machine. I'll be able to show it in the other slides. Yeah. So if you see this machine here, this machine which is showing here uh, for the seven years type of instrument this is a six plates machine in india uh, it runs in a good uh, uh, even though it's a bad wind speed it has an idling motion uh, it runs from 2.5 meters is the cutting speed and generation would be from 3.5 to uh, 4 meters once you reach 4 meters the rpm is increased to 60 60 to 55 to between 50 to 55 60 it starts generating a final words the entire module is for one kilowatt and the uh, 500 watts uh, 500 watts the dia of the rotor dia of the this machine i mean this machine uh, this machine is 500 ml the same machine is developed with uh, 800 to 900 ml maximum is 9.5 ml the blade size would be going up to uh, instead of one meter it's 1.3 to 1.4 or 1.5 subject to the location and the site we will give the Design and subject to wind speed to design this machine. So generally, this machine is a, a good uh, machine which you all, uh, any part of the India, if the 45 feet or any part of the country, uh, this kind of designs are very successfully running. Uh, uh, successfully running, it's my, with my, my, with my personal experience, I'm telling you. So those designs are very. Uh, it fascinates me and it also hope people who are very interested to you know, do such kind of designing and you know want to do such kind of engineering and want to try this you can try this kind of machines yeah. uh, let me show a small demo on this particular machine on seven is type of machines uh, to my uh, to my left uh, this machine uh, this machine is a machine you can see a small demo which we initially when we made this machine we were trying to test uh, from uh, from the fourth floor of my apartment or guest house uh, we tried this machine with few of our staff and other uh, other engineers from the balcony we kept it this machine here to the door you can see the door there's a balcony door the wind passes hits it uh, hits the door and and uh, Push the turbines to run. Just see this. Um, this machine runs. There's a generator connected to the bottom. The wind hits there from the balcony of 40 feet for floor floor. Hits the door and and passes to this place. As was the testing we were doing it from the guest house. So these are the machines we have done the lot of optimization after this. We were very happy with the way the result was given to us. And it, it is really fantastic. We, uh, we have some bobbling also on this machine that needs to be rectified in a, when we are doing the optimization. You can also try to design. Uh, this is again, uh, it is 800 mm, less than one meter height of the plate. And, uh, the dia is I think 300 mm only. That's a fantastic machine. And uh, you might have seen in the this kind of machines, uh, these machines are uh, solar mills. You know, on the top of that, uh, these machines. On the top of that, you can find a solar panel. And three uh, mills are there. Uh, these machines are uh, from. 
a company called as uh, Wind Streams of uh, USA, United States, okay, America, United States of America. Mm. And we also have one small factory at Hyderabad. Uh, we have engineered there and developed there. And uh, these machines are really fantastic if the wind speeds are good. I'm not saying it's bad, but uh, they need at least a good wind speed around uh, five meters to six meters per second. And uh, the company itself says that it generates only the 20% of wind and balance 80% is uh, generated by solar. Uh, Solar, I don't think so. We are interested to work with the solar, but we are very much interested for the wind turbines, which have to at least generate the 80 percent. So it's a small black lock with this machine. This machine requires is very fascinating, very fantastic. Requires is very beautiful. The way it runs, also people are uh, shows a lot of interest, but the uh, results are a bit poor. Good power because of because of Indian wind speeds and if the same machines are installed in any kind of coastal area, I think this goes, gives you good results. So this is a wind stream machines which is uh, which is available in India and other parts of the world. Uh, you can buy these machines in your online. So the only thing is if you have you know, uh, good wind speeds, uh, please buy these machines or else. Uh, it's up to you. I should not tell good or bad. I can talk about good. Uh, let me not talk on the other parts of it. However, so once again, I just want to play around this. Uh, people who has not seen, uh, let them have a once again watch on this. This is, of course, we have a wobbling there. It has been rectified. This was the initial stage. The doublet machine, is, which, uh, which I have already showed, if I have another video of this, uh, maybe I'm having another video after the, doing the optimization. We have done one more test like this. Uh, if I have, uh, insert this uh, uh, same video in this uh, PPT, uh, I think I remember I've done or not, I don't remember. Let me see if, uh, if I have done it, then I will definitely uh, try to show you that. Also. Mm, this is a surveillance type machine, it's called as wind stream, uh, with a uh, 100 watts panel on it. The east turbine is maybe give you 100, 100 watts, 200 watts of um, each, uh, three turbines together. Or uh, they have another design of each uh, turbine of 300 watts or so. Initially, those machines were too good. And the, the problem is, is the fate of India, we don't have good wind speeds. Uh, there is a small diagram, guys, I just want to show on this. Uh, the small connection, uh, most of the people uh, in India, I don't know about other countries, so which I get the calls how to connect the existing panel with the or your wind turbine, is it possible? That was the questions uh, I get it from uh, most of the people. So there's a block diagram which I have uh, pasted here. Yes, you can connect the wind turbine with existing solar or grid unit. But net metering is not possible because the wind turbine doesn't have the net metering in India. And uh, you cannot, Upload this your unit uh, production in the after uh, sundown or once in the evening. So when the when when it runs in the evening, uh, then the net meter will get on, and that would be a problem in the grid. So they will uh, chase you behind it once if you connect it also. So when we do it, when we don't have the net meter for winter when so far in India. They said they have come, they have given, it's going to come. 
So far, I have not got any kind of notification from MNRE or National Institute of Wind Energy or any kind of government authorities for the uh, net metering. Yes, of course, you can give it in your uh, grid if your loads are, for example, if your loads are 10 kilowatt and you can go for a 40 kilowatt of, uh, I mean, 4 kilowatt or 5 kilowatt of power inside the grid using three phase, but it should be a constant usage of 10 kilowatt per hour in 24 hours. So it should not go out of the grid. And balanced power may be of another five kilowatts can be used from the electricity board, the local board. So let me talk on this first, uh, how the connection are there. Hope the guys are already seeing the wind turbine, which is connected. Let me start from my left, from my left from the wind turbine, which is shown in the top block diagram. If you see, if you just come down from the tower bottom line, there is a wind controller. A wind controller is nothing but it's a charge controller. And before that, the, this machine, see, a lot of machines generally, I don't know about other, there are other uh, machines also, they can, other generators also, they connect DC generator, armatures, and a uh, lot of uh, idiotic stuff available in the net. Uh, I'm not fascinated, uh, I'm not uh, happy with this uh, DC motors or uh, you know, uh, uh, those things or our mixtures or car motors or uh, so on bullshit. I don't think so, this will be give you a, a good result because uh, those uh, machines or those generators or PMD, uh, PMD motors or DC generators or DC motors it's all, you know, there are so much stuff which is available, I keep noticing and uh, People uh, talk on this, uh, it's not going to work. Yet. I don't think it's going to work, especially don't waste your time in this. Go for a good uh, generator, uh, most probably axial flex generator or uh, uh, radial flex generator. In that, you have to choose what is your RPM you need it, what is the uh, current you want, is that's nothing but ampere, and what is the voltage you want. You see a lot of manufacturers available all over the world. Uh, what is the required voltage you needed for the battery? What is that? Those are the things if the required voltage and the amperes is coming in certain RPM from 2 meters per second to 6 meters per second, that is highest RPM. In wind prone area, it may be uh, 9 meters or 8 meters. Mostly it is 7 to 8 meters per second in uh, wind prone areas. So you have to choose a generator as per your battery bank. The design, it may be useful for you guys. So the RPM and the voltage and the ampere, these are the three things you have to use your calculation with your plate, which angle and plate size. These are the things which you have to keep in the eye. So don't go for, go for idiotic uh, motors and uh, try to waste your time. Let me uh, come back to the connection. The turbine is in AC, uh, AC three phase. And the three phase here, we, we, we converted we convert the three phase into single phase DC. Uh, why? Because we get, uh, uh, once we convert two phase into single phase, the uh, ampere and the voltage is bit higher. When it goes to a little bit higher RPM, so that we will get, we will get use of the ampere. The most important is only the ampere, the current. I'm not using a lot of uh, formulas. I just want giving you a small, very layman, uh, uh, explanation. I don't want to go into deep, more, more deep into the formula section, and uh, I don't want to talk much on that. So just commonly, I'm just leaving it. So there is a AC-DC converter. It is a, a rectifier. From the rectifier, it is again given to a charge controller of uh, whether it is a 12 volts VDC, that is a battery bank or a single battery is 12 volt. The two batteries are 24. So whether it is a 12 volts VDC or 24 volts, the charge controller from the DC it can take the uh, maximum current or bug boost is also available. There are a lot of uh, charge controllers available in India or other parts of the country. And buy from anybody. It's also available in Norway. So why you don't ask me, uh, don't let me give you a brief on more on charge controllers. Charge controllers, uh, one way is the best way if uh, Many of the charge controllers of Chinese doesn't work uh, good with the Indian machines. They are done for those machines which they are using it in uh, Chinese or they are selling it for the uh, 
uh, other parts of the country. So that match with them. So try to pick or design your own chance controller subject to the Indian wind speeds or subject to the uh, any part of the countries. You have to know, guys, you have to know generally uh, the so wind speed is the most. You see, commonly, uh, if a salesperson is selling uh, any parts of the world, so you cannot design the same Indian charge control to Europe. You cannot. So the design and the blade design and the charge controller, these are the main things which you have to concentrate. Whom to give what kind of uh, charge controllers? These charge controllers uh, give play the vital role in the. Uh, for charging the batteries, whether the battery is made up of lithium or water based or gel based batteries or lead acid batteries. So, there's a lot of uh, difference uh, uh, when you connect it to again lithium ion. So, you should be very, uh, very, very careful when you connect to the which kind of batteries. Uh, mostly, the batteries, if you are commonly using uh, gel batteries or solar batteries or water based batteries or lead acid batteries. Try to use the common charge controller which is available in the box. Lithium neon batteries, you have to use a different charge controllers, uh, different charge controller, or you have to design with the gate and other things. So those things were in the electronics part is a little difficult to uh, understand the battery bank because uh, lithium battery uh, uh, burns very faster if you go for a higher charging. As a, that's the biggest problem. But other batteries, they take the highest charging. If the battery voltage is something around 24 volt, you can give up to uh, 27, 28 also you can give. It's not a problem. The charge control will give you only the highest voltage, maybe 26, it may give it to you. So let me come back from the battery bank. It's again, uh, I will just leave the solar section. Let me, uh, complete the from the wind and I'll come back to the existing solar. Just imagine solar is already existing. So from the battery bank it is con uh, connected to the, there is a DC load, just uh, I'm skipping the DC load. Uh, when, once I'm talking on the solar, I will uh, let you know why it's also one DC load I've given. So from the battery bank it is converted to the inverter, inverter of a uh, uh, till 3 kilowatt, it is a single phase uh, AC out for this. It is this inverter maybe varies from uh, 1000 watts to 1600 watts or 2 kilowatt for the it is a two battery bank. If it is a four battery bank, it is a 48 volt, it's a 6 kilowatt machine. So from the inverter, it is goes to the AC mains or AC loads. Your house or your factory, you can correct. The same as your domestic uh, inverter is connected. Your fans and the lighting loads and your refrigerator and other parts, which is lesser than the if the wind turbine or the solar panel is one kilowatt and one kilowatt put together, it is again two kilowatt of uh, power. So you can use uh, one kilowatt of highest uh, uh, electrical equipment. I don't think so. You have to use so I, I have a two kilowatt of inverter. You just want to connect uh, one AC, it will not run. It will not run. So AC, one ton AC treats a minimum torque of nine, nine to ten amps and two twenty volts. Maybe they are around two point five to two point six kilowatt. So two two batteries will not withstand for it. May yeah, of course you can go for a uh, three kilowatt of battery by four batteries. Certainly it is helpful if you go for a two kilowatt of wind turbine with forty eight VDC and uh, more uh, 2 kilowatt of solar, 3 kilowatt, totally 4 kilowatt of solar if you are pumping in the battery bank, plus or minus a 3 kilowatt in water will be charged always and uh, once the battery bank is full, it will directly connect with solar panel and start using the uh, power from the solar and wind turbine. So it works fantastically. Now let me come back to your uh, existing solar panels. Let's have this solar panels if I if I go to the somewhere here in the solar panels, um, you can see the array, a solar a PV or mono. So again, this has the uh, has a here as a solar charge controller. You know, the hybrid inverter, this part, the hybrid inverter, the hybrid inverter. These days we are getting as a hybrid inverter. Solar direct in is there available with a lot of companies which is coming. Whether it is a microtech or UPL or the Luminous 
or you name any kind of brand most of the inverters are available in the market which have directly dc in the voc of the solar panel may be varies from the brand to brand 9 amps to 10 amps or sometimes 8 amps so the inverter has a capacity of taking till 12 to 14 amps so guys don't give the wind turbine to the uh, if you don't have much knowledge don't try to give the wind turbine uh, from dc out to the inverter pack uh, inverter dc don't allow the wind turbine because the wind turbine you know wind turbine the ampere is not uh, uh, not the same always it is changes uh, as per the wind speeds so here the solar uh, ampere is constant the wind is not constant and the ampere is not constant sometimes it varies from 30 to 40 amps in one uh, within one minute the wind turbine may pick up the speed of the wind into 400 rpm so during those time uh, the ampere is higher so don't try to give it to the hybrid inverter uh, i would insert don't try to give the uh, dc to solar hybrid uh, solar hybrid inverter try to give it to always to the battery bank uh, try to give always the dc power from the wind turbine to the directly uh, one negative one positive but from the charge controller try to give to battery bank so the battery turbine is safe the load is always there from the battery however the battery is taking the load the turbine will uh, it takes automatically the rpm the battery once the battery is full also the rpm is a little bit slow a little bit slow it's not high when the battery is uh, 70 percent weak the exhausted the blade rpm is increased so it does keep on pumping the power so it will it will goes inside the battery bank so this charge controller is not required nowadays uh, because all the solar uh, inverters are with inbuilt as control. Uh, let me. I was talking about the DC loads. So sometimes uh, most of the uh, most of the uh, government organizations or private companies or the cell phone towers guys, they have the DC units which are running in you know uh, with 12 volts or 24 volts, you know, and um, 48 volts uh, few machineries or pumps or the some kind of uh, exhaust fans uh, some equipment with the dc load so there is an option available with the bus controller and the step down transformers uh, the dc with multiple uh, connectors you can connect with 5 volt 12 volt and 48 volts with 4 amps 5 amps uh, if you uh, step down it so you can take the, the DC out from this. It's majorly used for the all kind of big government sectors in the remote area. So we can also use in that way. There's also another way for the DC load in. The DC load out is different. The DC load in is different. Here I have not mentioned the as DC load in or out. I mentioned only the DC load. Whether you're taking out, whether you are giving inside. Now here DC in is that you know from a DG diesel generator or the diesel uh, the diesel generator is uh, uh, totally with the DC out and it is having a it is constant voltage again you have to connect a charge controller from that whether it is a DC out or AC if it is a directly AC 240 again you have to touch step down make it into DC send it to the battery bank or from the dc directly ac you can send it to your mains by a changeover you can use that or the dc generator if you are using you can connect with the 48 volt 20 volt by uh, charge controller uh, before the dc load to the battery bank connect as well as per the battery requirement whether it is a 12 volts or 24 volts or 48 volts so that could be a, a beautiful concept all in one together all in one together now here uh, we can call why all in together because one source is also there dc in dc out you can give and there's another source guys you just uh, i missed out uh, there is a, a charging from the wind turbine there's also a charging from the solar so both are uh, available and both are charging the batteries for example in case of uh, in absence of wind in absence of solar so what could be the uh, problem so in absence of wind and solar the bms the inverter or the BMS will check 
the inventor will check option one is not available option two is not available it will check for option three option three would be your ac mains that is your ev which is coming uh, from the mains so what we'll do when absence of uh, both it will charge from the electricity which is already available at your home or the source so source three is your electricity if that is available it will charge the batteries for uh, continuously for four hours in between between anything uh, anything happens of the wind is available it will connect wind it will disconnect the ac or if it is available solar if solar is available it will disconnect the ac it will charge from the ac so this is the fantastic system in the uh, total uh, inverter presently it is for every inverter it is available so you need not to specifically tell that uh, but just for a knowledge i just thought to share this so that you will understand in a good way uh, these are the for the bigger machines uh, generally uh, i don't uh, do this so uh, there's another friend uh, in india in Bhopal. He's doing uh, Exxon the machine, name is in Bhopal, is Indian machine. Uh, there's uh, upward winds and downward winds, uh, it's nothing but uh, wind which is blowing towards the nose cone. The nose cone is nothing but the wind turbine nose. So uh, it's coming from, it's called as uh, upward winds. The downward winds is from the behind. So from the behind, the wind comes and uh, the blades to touch. So these are the bigger machines which starts from uh, for a grid uh, a grid availability from 250 kilowatt to and um, 2.5 megawatt also is available so i think uh, this uh, i don't think so i will be able to talk on much uh, it's going to take a lot of time because it's a damn motion for these bigger machines to talk it's very very uh, time it's, it takes a lot of time on this so i have not uh, uh, given much notes however you can just see what the notes are given to know what is downwind wind speed support wind, wind turbine so generally most of the people ask it what kind of machine what kind of profile uh, what is the size of the blade and whether it is single shaft drive whether it is gear uh, gearbox model Guys, this, these days I don't think so. We are getting any uh, uh, gearbox models because nowadays we are uh, stop using uh, most of the machines are coming with uh, EMGCs generators. Uh, none of them are using the the new generation. The new generation machines or the bigger machines are all all are uh, PM, uh, PMSG permanent magnet synchronized generator. Uh, it has a single shaft profile. Most of the bigger companies are started doing it. Uh, they doesn't uh, uh, use in the gearboxes because gearbox machines are again uh, has a higher RPM in the gearbox, higher maintenance, high, and we have to go for a change of oil. And uh, centigrade oil burning is above 80 centigrade. It's uh, it's get boiling centigrade, hundred grade, and uh, the gearbox start getting burnt. Most of the damages are happened on this uh, gearbox model. The turbine is not burnt off, um, it's not been burnt off because of the electricity which is producing. Most of the turbines are generally burnt because of uh, non maintenance of the gearbox, uh, gearbox and or gear change of gearbox oil. Uh, most uh, owners of the turbines are, um, they just ignore uh, of doing this. Uh, generally, they ignore it. So that's the reason the uh, failure in the machines happens, as for my opinion. And sometimes there are problems with the high wind speeds, and uh, RPM goes high. There is also low maintenance of not checking the gearbox in the right way, or the, the gearbox uh, slipping, slipping next to the gearbox. Uh, the gearbox character is uh, moved out, or pinion ball bearing is moved out. So there will be a, a problem the turbine blades will run in high wind speed or high rpm that's the reason they hit to the mast the mast is nothing but the tower they hit to the mast and they break and fell down with a greater noise so this part the causes uh, of the uh, uh, faulty machines however they have a lot of sensors when they have high wind speeds uh, all the machines are having the auto flooding mode 
So the blade will change it to the 90 degrees angle. Once the blade is changed towards the 90 degrees angle, and I don't think so, uh, there will be any damages from this machine because the wind passes away from the 90 degrees. Whatever the cyclone wind is that it passes and goes out from the blades. When the cyclone is calm down and, and sometimes the grid is also off. Once the grid is also off for duration of the cyclones, these machines are automatically changes their pitch, pitch angle, the blade angle to the 90 degrees. That is the break for them. So wind passes and the blades are safe. Once the cyclone is passed away from the wind forms, uh, this blade will go to again to the pitch angle. Whatever the wind speeds are there, accordingly the pitch of the blade angle is changed subject to the wind speed. So, so the advanced machines to this. Uh, uh, from, uh, let's take that uh, 20 years back, I don't think so. We had these machines of a pitch angle. There was a fixed pitch uh, blade only for 100 kilowatts or uh, 50 kilowatts or 200 kilowatts or 250 kilowatts. These are the old machines with uh, 200, 250. I've not seen 100, but I've seen a lot of old machines of 18 to 20 years, 250 kilowatts, 50 kilowatts. I've seen three three blades machine. I've seen two blades machine. Two blades are the fantastic machines uh, still available in Tamil Nadu. They are Bambatur and Baldain uh, Seasonal wind speeds are there. They are very good. 350 kilowatt machines. Uh, in fact, I've had some pictures and videos of that. Again, it takes a lot of bites for this presentation. I'm not able to insert those videos. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, innovation by us with uh, my company engineers and few of my other friends and myself uh, for designing of the ducts. A uh, lot of ducts designs were happening in and around the world. And uh, this, uh, this is one live example which I am going to show you. This is a, a turbine where you can connect from any factory duct outlets or any uh, dust collectors or uh, smoke uh, exhaust. Uh, you can connect uh, 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 blades uh, which can be designed in aerodynamic or any aerodynamic any profile uh, which runs with the clockwise or anti-clockwise. Please do not use DC motors again and for this. This again you have to use the AC three-phase PMGs or PMSGs so that any direction of clockwise or anti-clockwise the uh, AC current and the voltage remains same. The polarity is not changed. The plus or minus or negative and positive are not changed in this. So whether you are running in a duct or whether clockwise or anti-clockwise, the blade, whether you fix to the fan, always fix it to the anti-clock direction only. The one the, when the wind is coming out, it hits the blades in the duct. And once the wind is hit on the blades, and it starts running with a certain RPM up to 300 to 400. That's a very good uh, uh, wastage. Uh, wastage of smoke, uh, wastage of uh, duct or dust collectors. But a bit uh, maintenance is there for every three months you have to clean the bridge. A lot of dust is accumulated, a lot of carbon is accumulated. Subject to the factory, the maintenance people guys will, they are uh, well trained and we are given good train for them. Uh, they, 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 they are the people who do the maintenance for their own sites. So let me see, these are the few uh, design we done it in, a, uh, in our drawings. So these are the duct I'm just uh, giving you to get a more uh, understanding of what I'm saying on it. So these are the duct, this is the design and this is a outlet, the wind goes there and passes there and hits the blades and this machine starts running. So we have developed a few machines in our uh, site that's a factory. Uh, let me play the video and sit back and enjoy for some time. This is a video of playing it. Very short video. We weren't able to give a, a long video, as I said before. There's a there's a picture here of my, this machine. I'll tell you what uh, what is it. This is a, a two kilowatt uh, generator, a PMSG, which is installed, and uh, 
This is that. Um, this is what the uh, structure of the blade, which is designed in the factory. Uh, these are the machines uh, we have for a uh, two kilowatt, two kilowatt, and one kilowatt only, because we are not able to do much optimization uh, to get more power or more. Power. Because the wind velocity is constant, it is not more than sometimes 4 4.5 meters per second only we are able to get from the ducts. So, generally, we have a lot of difficulties if the duct size is big and uh, they are using uh, 10 HP or something, 14 HP, 30 HP. The wind speeds are coming up to uh, coming up to 6 meters per second after all the dust passes and clean air which is coming. So, generally, we cannot increase the blade size here. So, we are Trying to optimize more on the structure of the machine and generator power. Uh, the blades also we are trying to do it in a different model. But however, we are not able to success so much. So mostly we got last, 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 we got only the uh, uh, three kilowatt of power in the small machine. Uh, not more than that. But whatever it is here, uh, it is one kilowatt or two kilowatt, I don't mind. Uh, from the wastage, whatever I am trying to use them in the grid. This this is again directly connected to the grid. Uh, whatever the usage uh, from the turbine it's coming, we, can, we are uh, trying to feed in the grid itself. So from the wastage, we are converting a three kilowatt per hour. It is sending into the grid. So we have a metering there. We have all kind of system so for the maintenance and all. They can move this machine to another direction and then do the servicing and cleaning part. Again, they'll push the machine itself. So this is an easy type of uh, uh, machines which we develop and there are also some people are trying to do uh, you know, a bigger concept on this from Pune. A uh, person like uh, there's a name called as Hazara, he wants to uh, push the wind uh, uh, through a pipe and uh, to uh, make a wind velocity more up to, to uh, 200 meters per second. I used to this guy's uh, two years, three years back. So he is also trying to do for 100 kilowatts with the duct. I have those drawings also, but I wouldn't be able to give it to you here because I was worried whether I will be able to fulfill my time which is given to me. Yes, sir, I think um, I'm through. This is a avometer and this is one of the uh, duct turbine, you know, can be used, um, uh, same design can be used for micro hydro, same design can be used as a wind turbine. This is uh, one of the best uh, machine you can go for high rise buildings, high rooftop uh, towers. Uh, this machine runs very fantastically, it takes very good uh, drag. And people in India, I don't think so, most of the people uh, they have designed this. I have not seen, I even I have not tried this machine due to the, my regular schedule. So, this could be a, a few of my innovations and a few of my experience which I have shared with you. And, um, and uh, this could be my signing off, uh, guys, uh, sir, Raj, sir, and uh, I think I will try to move on. Sorry, are you yes, able to hear me? Yeah, th thanks a lot, sir. Thanks for your um, very good presentation about the rooftop solar, everything details about that one. Sir, some yeah, questions has been raised by yeah. some participants. So, Let's, is it possible to address it, sir? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mishra, there is a, yes, there is a very good response. Yeah, it is a very uh, good response. The participants. Sir. Yeah. I have collected some questions, more than around 20 questions are there, but we will address only few questions uh, due to time limit, sir. So I am trying to show my... Uh, and the remaining the we will thing? send through the... What's yeah, the remaining we will send through all the mail, sir. For yeah, send it through mail, I will reply, no issues. Yes, I guess, I guess, sir. So can what we address some... 
So it is three, but up to four we are planning to wind up everything, sir. I don't see the time also. It is three forty-six. Okay. I am short with uh, twenty minutes. I am not up continue yeah. actually. Anyways, tell me, sir, is that question shall I answer or you are going to send me a mail? Sir, so so some very few questions. Which, uh, some questions will do. Go ahead. Yeah, so first question is given by the Rachita Sarangi. It is what is the efficiency of these machines at a peak wind? Very good question. She is a fantastic question. She is she is much aware of the Indian. If she is she is she she from India? Yeah. From India. Yeah. Efficiency would be not more than eighty percent. Okay. If Thank the wind speeds are nine meters per second. Okay. So another question is that how is the end of life management in case of wind turbine blades? How is how is the end of life management? End, end, yeah, yes, sir. How is the end, of, end of Mr. life management? I think Mr. I can show the question. Sir. He is asking about the turbine life, right? Yeah, turbine life. Yeah. So can I share the screen, please? It will be easy yeah, yeah. to yeah. Yes, sir. Very good question. See, generally, I I, I have to answer this to all. Uh, if you have a time, let me give you a little brief on this. Very good question indeed. Life management of the machine, our Indian make is for 25 years. If it is a coastal area, if it is a coastal area, 20 years. Our is 18, 18 years. If it is done with uh, all kind of anti corrosion paint, 3 2 coating, and sandblasting, and uh, Blah blah, whatever the coating you want to do, fiber coating on top of that. So, 18 years the tower will withstand for the gauge of um, uh, 5 mm thickness or 6 mm thickness. So, turbine, especially the generator, plates, I think it will run for 50 years if it is not broken. Generator has a life for 25 years if it is a Indian generator, if it is an Indian manufacturer. I will give you the comparison also. Indian machines or made by handmade number one all winding is copper all mechanism is uh, done in our uh, systematic old machinery of lift and we use the rare earth magnets neodiums or neodiums or number maybe for example it is 52 47 subject to the design Subject to the RPM, you can choose the size of the magnet and the grade of the magnet. It is up to your subject. If I'm using the magnet N47, N47 I use for the fine advanced machine for a wind speeds of four to five meters per second, increasing the number of poles and the uh, and the winding. So what is the voltage I want? If I want voltage, I will design the number of poles for nine or twelve for the subject to the wind speed and the coiling section I may increase it so that I will get in a low wind speeds also if it is running in uh, 50 rpm also I should get 12 volts the main subject of this machine whether it is running with a low rpm maybe I may drop the uh, the ampere that is the power current the ampere may be 4 to 5 amps I can start with initially so that is the reason we are not compromising in uh, uh, not compromising for the quality so neodymiums are must and the quality the grade of the copper is must and the number of coiling number of winding is must if the machine is little bigger not a problem and the body itself is a cost iron the weight is heavy the bearing are double ball bearings the bearing life is for three years in any kind of weather conditions and normal weather condition of india if you if you again the same bearing if you want to use it for lee ladak it is not going to work if the same bearing commonly used here in the uh, andhra pradesh hyderabad or delhi or these places or coastal area it will not work you have to use this silicon type gear the silicon bearing a silicon grease bearing if you are using the silicon grease bearing it can hold up to minus 10 only not more than that again it's a problem if you go to the lila or if you go to the minus 40 centigrade 
the bearing will the grease will get harder the yaw movement will stop first then the uh, rotation of the blade will stop so what we have to doing we are using the same but the pitch of the blade should be in a 38 degrees blade pitch blade profile pitch should be 38 degrees when the ice is falling it have to cut the ice it have to be in the idling whether it is 40 degrees or 20 degrees to 10 degrees if the wind speeds are above 6 to 7 meters per second though the drag is heavy the blade is always in the motion when the blade is always in the motion the grease will not become harder so uh, always use this kind of uh, blade angle pitch to run in a that rpm mode idling mode when the machine is idling mode the grease is not harder the friction is there so grease will remain same the slowly slowly the rpm will pick up then the machine will start giving you the power but in hori in vertical there is no chance vertical will fixed you though you are using the silicon bearing uh, grease it will not it will get jammed because vertical always uh, filled with the ice flow so verticals is not possible to run okay thank you sir so next okay, question the description between this um, life of the machine so let me compare with the chinese a uh, chinese machines are made for the european and american country not for india and the design of this machine is frp body or aluminum body or alloys okay in coastal area aluminum body is not so good because corrosion is heavy after 6 years this machine life the bearing life is not more than 2 and 1/2 years and the coil life is not more than 1.5 years why because they use the aluminum coil most of the machines which i opened i found the aluminum coil and copper coated aluminum coil copper coated and coming to the uh, magnets the magnets is used as a ferrous magnet coated with nickel so once the nickel coating or steel coating is gone the magnet ferrous magnet will get blurred or get crack and machine get jammed it will not run the heating is higher in aluminum coil aluminum body and the ferrous magnet once the ferrous magnet reaches the 86 centigrade or 90 centigrade the magnet will get crack and break so these are the problems with this machine generally these machines are made for the european countries this is not suitable for indian wind speeds in domestic area i don't know about the bigger machines i'm talking about the smaller machines is that clear sir yeah thank you sir another okay. question is there which type of generator he used in vertical axis wind turbine is it dfiz sorry go ahead so which type of generator is used in vertical axis wind turbine is it dfiz or not dfiz is not required for us to use it i am not using any dfiz i am using axle flex generator axle flex generator in other words it is again pmsg permanent magnet synchronized generator but flex uh okay, coil is in center two side magnets dual magnets the coil is center two side magnets top between is a coil bottom again magnets it's a disc it's a axle flex magnet three phase ac so these are the this this generator has a uh very low torque we can run with fingers very low torque okay sir so another is so there how much amount of power axle flex generator is perfect uh, uh, generator for uh, 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 verticals okay so another is so, there how much amount of power will be developed in roof tower how much power yeah how much power will be developed in the roof tower means roof tower 
subject to wind speed see if your roof is in 40 feet and you are able to get the wind speeds up to 6 meters per second if your turbine is installed for 1 kilowatt then definitely it will produce 700 to 800 watts mostly any kind of turbine is rated power is 8 meters you have to reach the 8 meters per second to get the 100 percent of utility none of the turbines in the world will give you 100 percent efficiency because in india wind speeds are not uh, uh, constant in india wind speeds are sometimes are uh, 5 meters per second in 10 minutes sometimes it goes to zero sometimes it goes to two again to start a machine it needs a 2.5 gush winds to get a gush winds we need at least three meters when three meters reaching to the router die of the blade when it hits the nose generally the turbine takes the drag one goes down one goes top once the drag has come then it starts running uh, with the uh, idling mode when the idling mode moves and the rpm is higher then he will get the uh, maximum power with 70 uh, percent of uh, machine in indian machines in chinese machine they need uh, 400 to 500 rpm so the, if you buy one kilowatt machine you will get at least 300 to 400 watts with indian wind speeds okay sir thank Thanks. you sir thanks a lot sir so today we are just completing all the other things we will send you in the mail sir because so many questions are there so now i am officially giving a very good response to the uh, participants those who have given the response and uh, thank to you mr beg sir and uh, i am requesting our rajesh patnaik sir to give the present thanks vote of thanks to you, sir Thank you so much. So kind of you. So nice of you. But Nagy, you are in the radio is out. Yeah. Uh, Bye, Gamzad, sir. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, esteemed presentation. Uh, with a short notice, uh, you have given us the opportunity to host you. And uh, today, I think you have given a very good presentation regarding the design and manufacturing aspects of the wind turbines and uh, how practically we can uh, have given an essence of practical essence of the wind turbine. So in this regard, I thank you very much, sir, from GMR Institute of Technology. Uh, I thank you very much for your uh, contribution. I also thank I, you one and all and patiently listening to me, but uh, uh, I, I am very thankful to you all for giving this opportunity. In case in future anything uh, like this you wanted, let us know so that uh, I will prepare uh, uh, another good presentations. Uh, we work on uh, various kind of subjects like micro hydros. I uh, will connect with micro hydros. I will connect with biomass. I have one more person uh, uh, who is very much uh, doing with e-vehicle charging stations, uh, e-vehicle conversions. So this this could be the future projects if you have anybody or anybody interested. Uh, I'll connect a few of the PhD guys also with this. And they all they do all this kind of innovations with them. Now since it's Corona, we have stopped working. Uh, my factory is in closed uh, mode. Uh, this office is in Chennai. I do a lot of testing from this place. The blade design and the bigger machine, more than above five kilowatts, all in, in uh, Sri City, Tada, near uh, Sri Kota, Sulur Peta, in Andhra Pradesh. So I work with that, uh, and uh, I've been living here for past 20 years because of uh, passion towards the development of these machines. So nice of you guys and uh, thank you very much, sir. And uh, it's my thank namaste you. to you thank all. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And did you, did you have to done this uh, video recording? Yes, it is yes, available in the YouTube. Yes. Provide uh, how do I do that? We'll give you the link, sir. We'll yeah. give you the link. We'll give the link. Okay, done, done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So thank you for the fantastic uh, uh, real life aspects of wind turbines. So participants tomorrow again will meet at two o'clock the same time. Tomorrow also there will be an interesting presentation. Thank you all. So I am signing off. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Thank sir. you, sir. Link, links for the feedback is given in the YouTube. Uh, just uh, submit it. It will be activated for the next 30 minutes. Thank yes. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye sir. Good luck Bye. to you all. Guys.